today I thought I'd talk a little bit about the area where I live and then go outside. RAA, that's a web page of Riksantikvarieämbetet, that's the Swedish National Heritage Board. They do uh, documentations of the archaeological examinations and digs that have been done in each symbol on this map here. The Bronze Age in Scandinavia was a couple of hundred years before Christ. And then the Iron Age was a couple of hundred years after Christ. So here it says at the end of the Roman Iron Age, uh, buildings of houses was uh, abandoned in here in Själby and in most of the uh, surrounding areas uh, all around the middle of Sweden. It used to be a Boplats. A Boplats is a, an old settlement. So when they start an uh, archaeological dig and they found evidence of a settlement, that's called a Boplats in Swedish. They usually find traces of a well or somewhere that where they cook food, that's like burnt mount, that's cracked stones, or stones that are cracked because of fire when they cook food. And if I scroll down a little bit, this is about the medieval Själbe, and this is from 1652, that's the oldest known map that has been preserved, and it's actually this map. And here we can see in uh, area A, there are three houses, and this the, those houses, not exactly the same houses, but there are still three houses in this uh, area of Själbe, and it's called Själbe Gård. And here is some mountainous area, or uh, it's actually just a hill. Uh, but nobody knows, not even in 1652, they didn't know what used to be here. But uh, it looks like there was an old fort up on this hill, somewhere in the... Bronze Age or Iron Age. The hill is over here to the right of the picture. And down here, th this line of strings probably had a fence above it for animals, so the animals wouldn't wander off out to the fields and farmlands. Here's a similar line of stones, but not from this area. This is from the southwestern Sweden. Here's the hill, here's the top of the hill, and here's the hill fort. And this is an archaeological site, dig site, and I click on it, I can get some information. So it says a hill fort on a high hill. It's a steep to the southwest, that's here. And in the north, east and south, there are walls. Here is what I showed you, the line of stones. And this, what this be probably a grade field and it's a grave field. Here is a Boplatz, some a settlement where people used to live. Uh, and if you click on it you can see some information. Uh, the findings on this place is Skärvsten, that's a burnt mound. And on other pla places like here you might find a well. So there's a well and here is the foundation of a house and this is not as old as this over here, Berghagen. And actually if you check in other papers they say that this was probably Borghagen before and Borg means fort. the residential area. These are the last houses built and I did archaeological diggings for years before building those last houses. And here it looks like they have started some new diggings. You see they dug up some stones and these are leftovers from these stones with sharp edge edges from the ice age. And they were cracked under the heavy weight of kilometers of ice. This actually used to be the bottom of the sea. And then after the land rose again, after it being pushed down by the ice, farmland, there is still farmland over there. 
on the other side of those trees is the grave field first and then the old foundations of the hill fort so this is not a tourist place it's just a mark with an r on the map that's an ancient site that we know almost nothing about it just lays there in the stillness of the forest while the traffic simmers by on the road and the people in the cars have no idea that this place is even here in the woods we're still part of the edge of the grave field outside the forest because it continues a little bit into the forest and that's the storm stream and here is the edge of the wood and they have cut down some trees i don't know why they maybe they'll build something more here and the fort is maybe 200 meters in to the woods why but they really did cut down many fort, trees and they seem to have been cutting down trees almost all the way up to the fort the string of stones i talked about is actually not as old as the hill fort the hill fort is from the younger bronze age which is like a thousand or five hundred years before christ and or the early iron age which is like two or three hundred years after christ so it's really like plus or minus a thousand years uh, so we don't really know how old it is but 10 kilometers to the east of here is Arnold's Hög. There's those are the largest burial mounds in Sweden where the two last kings of the Ynglings from the Ynglinga saga uh, are believed to have been buried. And they have done a carbon 14 uh, method to around year 300 or 350 Anno Domini on those uh, burial mounds. 10 kilometers to the east, so maybe that's in the same time frame as the hill fort here. Plagued by raiders. So raiders coming from here would have a pretty hard time getting up, attacking up there. But in the other directions they had to build uh, walls. It might have been a little bit easier to get up here, this way still if the defenders are up there on top they have a clear advantage and there's the stone walls and these stones are pretty heavy imagine a cube one meter times one meter times one meter if it was water it would have weighed a thousand kilograms or a metric ton but stone is heavier than water so I don't know exactly the density of this stone. I think the stone type is called granite, but it's, I, I'd say the larger stones must weigh at least two tons. So it, it wouldn't have been easy to lift those 2000 years ago without modern equipment. Nobody knows what buildings were up here. There are no remains left. There are only remains around this area and those remains are often newer. The stone strings uh, match with the map of uh, 1690s but uh, in the map in the 1652 the stone string doesn't match with the, the map so therefore you can conclude that the stone string on the other side on the east in the east would have been built somewhere between 1652 and 1690. So this is part of the north northern wall. And it was probably higher. And then the wall has collapsed. Now the stones are laying little everywhere. And up there is where the settlements would have been. I don't have a drone and drones are a little bit of a menace when you fly them over people or near airports 
But here a drone would have been perfect to get an aerial view of the place. Oops, should be a little bit careful not to fall down here. You can see down here this plateau where you could go down. It's the first line of defense. And then up here, it's where the actual buildings were. Somebody has built a cabin here for the children. And those are, I believe, droppings from deer. But I didn't see deer on Bjarne. And they are much more common on Bjarne than here. And over there is a stone string. Again, going from the north down into the middle, separating two areas up here. Maybe they kept animals in one part and people in the other or something. I don't know, nobody knows. And just to imagine how old this is. So this was built before the Viking Age. It's, it's older than the Viking Age. Viking Age was later, maybe a year 800, 900, 1000, Anno Domini, something like that. This is much older. I don't even know what kind of people lived here. So there was a migration period during the Iron Age, and then there was a, what we call a Vendel Age. And Vendel is because of an important finding. It's a bit outside of Uppsala. Yeah, so it's reasonable to be believe that it was, this was built somewhere between the younger Bronze Age and the Vendel period. And uh, on Sjög, 10 kilometers to the east over there, on the other, on the side of Estros, is uh, that's from the Vendel period. Oh, I forgot to say that this settlement, we don't know when this was abandoned, the fort up here, but the settlements below, Själby village, and it was abandoned around the year 350 or 400. That, that has been found with the carbon dating. And here to the north east uh, wall is largely destroyed. And it actually says in the documentation from the heritage board that it was destroyed using explosives. So you can imagine raiders coming from this direction, storming up the hill and defenders standing up there, trying to stop the raiders from getting to the buildings up there. Now that they cut down the trees here, it should be easier to spot the stones marking the edges of the grave in clawing their way over an Iron Age grave field. Yeah, here, just the side of those stones is an actual visible string of stones. So my guess is that at least this was also part of the grave. Now I'm back home and I have the amazingly boring task ahead of me to edit the video down from I probably recorded at least 30 minutes out in the woods. I hope you enjoy it. See ya.